Welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Feather, and I'm back today with another 12 for 12 scrapbook process video for you. Today I am scrapping. First of all, I didn't speed this up at all because this didn't take me long, and I think I lost some of the footage. So uh, before I forget, this is Dear Lizzie's Stargazer Fresh Picked, Freshly Picked, something like that. I already forgot. Anyways, um, I am getting all into the lemons today. Look at how much lemon stuff I got. Um, I'm working currently working in my vacation album and from my Mallorca trip last year went there um, last April and we went to a valley called Valley of the Oranges or er, Valley of the Orange I don't quite know the proper translation but um, I know oranges and lemons aren't the same but because we went in April and the orange season is more of like August uh, not August sorry um, October, November, something like that. So there wasn't a lot of lemons. Um, uh, sorry, there weren't a lot of oranges, but there were some lemons. There we go, got it out. Um, so I'm just going through <laughs> so much lemon stuff, but I did from every lemon stuff that I had, I just put it into a separate um, bag where I had all of the lemon stuff. <laughs> I kind of got overwhelmed with the lemons. But I am scrapping this picture of this amazing ice cream that I have in my hand with um, the beach in the background, like just the sand, I think. That's what you can see. Yeah, just the sand. Um, this is called, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the first word. It's called chelat. Chelat. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Soyer, um, Soyer is the town we were in, and they have this traditional... Um, ice cream, it's actually more of a sorbet than an ice cream and it's made with the oranges from that valley and it's, it is a bit pricey but it's very good. It tastes like actual oranges which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I wanted to scrap a picture of that. Also I really love the, the contrast of that bright um, orangey yellow. Um, I did enhance the color a tiny bit in Photoshop but this is actually the color that the ice cream had so yeah um i just while i was kind of explaining a bunch of stuff i peeled out not peeled out what am i saying i got out some of the um papers from that i don't know why i got that i had that in my stash for a couple of years now it's like an orange or kind of citrus fruit themed paper pad i don't know what i was thinking also i don't really like the color orange so I don't know why I got it, but I had it, so I put it into my Mallorca album, kind of, I have a, a little a container where I have, um, not why, where I have some embellishments, and especially orange themed or lemon themed embellishments that I put aside for this specific um, project. So. From that paper pad and also some other papers like that um, green one there, I just matted my photo. Um, and I, I kind of like that lemon paper there. Well, not really. I, I don't like the paper itself, but I do like it in the context with that photo, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I decided not to mat it and I'm going to use it um, on my layout a bit of a more prominent feature, I guess you could say. But anyways, um, because I didn't speed this up, I'm moving real time. So this is how fast I actually scrap, which is not fast. Um, but yeah, so and there's all of my layers and... Um, I did actually decide to cut a strip of that paper. I really like the back side um, of the paper, but I didn't use it, obviously. Where am I going? Oh yeah, so here is where I kind of decide how I want this and where I also decide to, here just um, cut a part off. So this is, I didn't measure it or anything. I was like, okay, this is the width I want to use this paper with. Um, and I'm kind of offsetting it so oh sorry about the phone in the background I'm gonna put that on mute real quick oh no I just 
just turn off my Wi-Fi. That's not what I wanted. Anyways, um, I'm using some foam tape to pop that up a bit. I didn't want to use foam because I, I, I'm really trying to keep things flat. And for me, that was enough in this case. And then I just decided to trim out, not trim out, what am I saying? To trim a piece of that um, paper. I don't quite know how thick that is. Maybe it looks like a three inch, maybe a bit more, three and a half, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, there was a weird noise in the background, so I wasn't quite sure what that was. Anyways, this is how I want to place my layout, and now I'm going to start to cut apart this paper so I can fussy cut some lemons. Oh, wow, that is very specific. This is so weird because I feel like I'm moving so slow. Which I guess I am, but I'm just moving like real time. But yeah. So now I will start to fussy cut these um, lemons. But I don't think I will make you watch all of this because this is slow. No, I think I did one or maybe one of the other oranges. Oh, I keep saying oranges. The other lemons as well. But no, I, no I'm doing this off camera. There we go. That's better. Uh, I got out my, I think it's a Tim Holtz, yeah, it's a Tim Holtz Distress Tool thingamajig. There we go. And I distressed the edges of that paper. I really like the look of that. So I just, I really love this tool. Super easy to use. You can also use your scissors. You don't have to have this tool. It is quite inexpensive. It was a couple of dollars, but um, you don't need to have that. You can just use um, your scissors as well, but be careful um, because of, you know, not cutting yourself, obviously. So yeah, there is that step done. This doesn't really have direction, so I just picked the side I, I like more. And um, now I'm starting to cluster my lemons, which is, yeah, you can kind of cluster however many clusters. Wow, that's a lot of clusters. Um, anyways, how many, how, however many clusters you want to make, but I decided to only go with two this time, which I don't usually do. If you know me, you know I love me everything in threes. <laughs> I really enjoy this, but for this layout, I decided to go with um, two. Um, I thought about this because I actually like this tag, but it was too black. And then I go through my kind of um, lemon basket. I also put out the oranges. These are Jen Hatfield oranges. I remember that. Don't know the collection though, but they are Jen Hatfield. And I just continue my cluster. Um, I don't like these. These are the Chamel ones. I like them, but not for this layout. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I just peel out some of the things. I think that You're So Sweet actually isn't an orange either. I think it's a peach, but that's okay. Uh, it's kind of the same. I mean, not really, but uh, for the sake of this layout, it is. <laughs> um, I also have like some tiny ones, some puffy stickers. Most of these are die cuts. There's stickers, like cardstick stickers, puffy stickers, embossed stickers, all of the things. Um, but yeah, I don't use the... Uh, what's her name? Not, oh God, I can't remember. Maggie Holmes. There we go. Um, this is a Maggie Holmes em embossed sticker. It's really pretty. It's from her florist collection, I think. I won't be using that on this layout, but there is a couple of photos in that valley. It's called... Um, 
forgot the valley name but it's like that uh, there's a like an old train like it's a um, hundred something years old mm, sorry about my face and you take the train like it starts in Palma which is the capital city of the island and then you go through this gorgeous valley which takes about an hour ish then you're in Soyer which is uh, a town and then there's another um, kind of a train tram thing that takes you to the um, harbor of Soyer, which is about, I don't know, 15 minutes away by, with that train and it's called Feta Soyer, which means like the harbor of Soyer. And that's where we got the ice cream. And there's like, especially the second train ride is where we saw a lot of beautiful orange trees and stuff. So yeah, um, then my camera kind of died and didn't want to cooperate so I did the clustering which I already started um, I just uh, glued everything down and I added a couple of tiny ones and now I'm sprinkling on some Heidi's of Gold Color Shine this is the title Dear Hip Kick Club Alphas and then my camera is gonna cut off again but I'm just gonna put this on my photo on the top because I it's kind of white space you don't really need this and my camera cut off again there we go so I just filmed this um, by holding the camera because I didn't film any more after that so there is a close-up what I wanted to say about the um, title about my title placement I decided to go and put it on the photo because it's quote-unquote white space it's nothing significant there you can see it's just sand and I really liked the colors of um, the the sorry the title how it kind of played off of the oranges and lemons next to it but anyways that was a very long explanation and that was my layout for you today I really hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye